Some creatures come from far, far away. Linked to the origin of our world, inhabitants of the planet's most intimate abodes, they are both witnesses to and victims of the devastating effects of human ambitions. Their origins are coiled into our planet's genetic code, and they now hang onto its last breath, survivors of the eclipse of paradise. The Comoros Islands, officially known as the Union of the Comoros, is an archipelago of volcanic islands situated off the eastern coast of Africa in the Mozambique Channel in northwest of Madagascar. It is a string of eight islands, of which only four are inhabited. The island's terrain and challenging topography are believed to have contributed to the conservation of the original environment. Today, the Comoros is considered as one of the poorest countries in the world. Development and poverty reduction are major priorities for its government. Agriculture, fishing, hunting and forestry are major sectors of the economy. In particular, agriculture is causing deforestation and erosion of the soil, thereby threatening the ecosystem of the islands. Like the indigenous population of the Comoros, the Livingstone's fruit bat origins are woven into the dawning of the world. In one myth, it is believed that the bat was once a bird who prayed to become a human being when something went wrong. Her prayers were only half answered, leaving her with the face, teeth and hair of a terrestrial animal with the wings of a bird. Some scientists have proposed that Livingstone flying foxes, as they are also called, are descended from primates rather than bats and that their mammalian flight ability has evolved more than once. Many questions about their origins and the solutions contemplated to ensure their survival are dubious. Moreover, rare is the depiction of this old world fruit bat's behavior in its natural habitat. We only know they are a forest obligate species and that they disperse pollen and seeds from many fruit trees. Perhaps the last descendant of the Pteserus, a flying reptile, the living stone bat is a Megachiroptera with a wingspan of 4.5 feet. It survives on two of the Comoros Islands, Anjuan and Moheli. The earliest fossils of the Pteserus are dated around 35 million years, and gaps in the fossil records make the true lineage of the Livingstone giant bat unknown. However, regardless of their origin, they survived, away from humans roosting together in remote areas where they established their colonies. The Livingstone bat's preferred habitat is montane forest subtropical, evergreen, moist woodland that usually provides the habitats for species that are found nowhere else. As the native population increases and the government's need to develop follows traditionally Western mandates, deforestation continues. The Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust states, if the bat's natural habitat is not protected, this amazing species, of which about 1,200 have survived, could be extinct within 10 years. Like the inhabitants of the Comoros, the Livingstone's bat is threatened by the Comoros' attempt to align with the global definition of civilized economy. It is a wonder whether either of them will survive the ecological devastation brought about by the protocols and mandates established by modern progress. This documentary endeavors in creating close encounters with both the Comoro natives and this critically endangered species. This in the hope that we will contribute to a better understanding of this unique mammal and to devising solutions for its conservation. It would be a sad end for such a majestic creature to find its fate in museum's display of extinct species.